Hey guys, Paolo Synthmania. I'm here at uh, Toman Synth Reactor 2019 with uh, Holger. Hi, Holger. Hi. From um, Marienberg Devices. Yes. And we're going to take a look at um, his uh, wonderful modular synth. All right. <laughs> so I was just playing uh, this uh, modular, it sounds really nice and I uh, particularly like the fact that um, uh, the precision that uh, we can, uh, that it, it tracks over, you were saying how many octaves, 10 octaves? 10 octaves, yeah. uh, precision of 10 octaves uh, of our uh, oscillator A, yep. it, uh, the frequency range uh, is uh, 20 uh, hertz to 20 kilohertz yep. and it tracks perfectly uh, for linear FM. Uh, frequency modulation. Uh, the filter uh, also uh, tracked perfectly over the uh, complete frequency range. You can use it uh, as a, a sine oscillator yeah. with a, a very stable uh, sine wave and you can play it uh, tracking uh, perfectly. Yes, also a really cool thing that um, you were mentioning and I was playing with uh, on the filter, if you just turn off the, um, the signal from the VCOs altogether and you just crank the, the resonance, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, it can be shrill, uh, uh, but this one is really smooth and yours, um, and you can use it really to, to play as an instrument and it tracks perfectly. I was really impressed by how perfectly just the, the crank resonance, uh, yeah. and you can use it as a sound. Uh, the emphasis resonance of our filter uh, has a uh, own logarithmic uh, converter internal and you can uh, uh, very smoothly uh, the uh, the emphasis uh, uh, older filters are you have a, a, a range of uh, uh, zero to uh, eight uh, nine and uh, takes not and over the, the last uh, few millimeters yep. Uh, it's it's all, and our logarithmic converter uh, is uh, the complete range uh, uh, is is very musical. Okay, as far as modules, uh, I see a lot of different modules here. Uh, you have uh, two types of oscillators, or yes, we have uh, some. Uh, the first oscillator uh, is the oscillator A, it's a high end model. Yep. Uh, it's uh, linear, perfectly linear, uh, about uh, 20 kilohertz. Yep. Uh, the sine phase oscillator is the, the same core as the uh, oscillator A, it's a triangle core, yep. and the sine phase oscillator. Uh, um, has eight uh, different phases uh, of a uh, sine uh, signal uh, shifted uh, about uh, 45 uh, degrees. Okay. We have 90, uh, 125. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 225. Yeah. You can uh, take it um, to uh, modulate uh, some uh, uh, oscillators. Uh, you uh, you have a static detuning or a dynamic detuning. You have a master uh, the first master PCO, uh, and this oscillator uh, has a, a nice modulation of a vibrato mm -hmm. uh, of a, a few cent and uh, has a dynamic uh, detuning. Very yes. nice. And this oscillator, uh, oscillator B, uh, is linear to uh, 8 uh, uh, kilohertz. Uh, it has not uh, the linear FM, uh, it's an exponential FM. Uh, and uh, it's a uh, very, um, very small oscillator. Okay. And the filters? Uh, you have, uh, uh, we ha we have uh, 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 at the time, uh, we have uh, a multi only one filter, a multi-mode filter, 12 TB okay. uh, per octave. Uh, you have low pass, band pass, uh, high pass and notch. Band pass is 6 TB uh, per octave. 
and uh, you have uh, all three parameters are voltage control yeah. uh, cut off is is okay and phases and a notch structure uh, or notch structure uh, you can uh, blend it uh, from uh, uh, low pass yeah. uh, over notch uh, to high pass oh, okay. and this feature are also uh, voltage controlled right yep ceiling and uh, if you uh, go in in the filter with a voltage audio voltage over uh, 7.5 volts uh, it uh, distorted uh, under the 75 uh, volts uh, it uh, worked uh, absolutely clean uh, and you can the, the, uh, the amplitude of the audio signal can um, yeah. It works uh, clean, yep. and if you sum the oscillators over 7.5 <laughs> volt, uh, it it sings. It's it singing. It's uh, uh, overdrive. Like yeah, you know, yeah. it's overdrive. Fantastic. The clock signal as a VCO uh, with correct scale. Okay. <laughs> Hybrid uh, oscillator. Uh, it's an internal. It's a high-speed uh, analog oscillator. Yeah. And uh, it will produce internally over 600 uh, kilohertz. Mm -hmm. All right. It, it really sounds great. And uh, thank you very much, Holger, for your explanation. Uh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thanks.